When Hollywood does any kind of movie or TV show about counterterrorism, about spying, they tend to have Jack Bauer doing something dramatic, they have James Bond doing something dramatic, they have Carrie Matheson doing something emotional and dramatic. You said you had information about an attack. But it's like one person in one dangerous place doing one powerful thing. And that's not the way the world actually works. In reality, the U.S. relies on a web of intelligence sharing agreements with other countries. The best known of these is the Five Eyes Agreement between the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, New Zealand, and Australia. But the U.S. also gets intel from countries that are geographically closer to terrorism hotspots. Jordan, Saudi Arabia, the Emirates, Turkey, Israel. These countries often have agents undercover inside groups like ISIS. They get something valuable, they trust us with it. That could be an intercept of a phone call, drone imagery showing somebody that one country is looking for. It could be a plot. That was the case in 2010, when intelligence sharing between the U.S. and six other countries stopped an al-Qaeda plot to bomb two cargo planes en route to the U.S. And what makes that all work, what kind of like greases that relationship, is trust. They believe that if they tell us a secret, that it's safe. One of the most important of these intelligence sharing relationships is the one between the United States and the Israelis. So when the Israelis found out about a specific threat from ISIS, that they planned to use laptops to bomb airplanes, the New York Times reports that the Israelis shared that information with the U.S., with the understanding it would stay secret. But the Washington Post reports that President Trump shared that information with the Russian foreign minister during his visit to the U.S. And in doing so, he seriously jeopardized that relationship with the Israelis. To understand why, you have to back up a little bit and look at what Russia is doing in Syria. President Trump has said Russia is a key ally in the fight against ISIS there. Uh, I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. And if Russia helps us in the fight against ISIS, which is a major fight, and Islamic terrorism all over the world, right. major fight, that's a good thing. The problem is that in Syria, Russia's goal is not to fight ISIS. Russia's goal is to protect Bashar al-Assad. Russia fights ISIS only insofar as it sees ISIS as a threat to Bashar al-Assad. And one of Russia's main partners in this objective is Iran, who the Israelis consider to be their greatest threat in the region. The greatest danger that we face of uh, the hatred for the Jewish people and the Jewish state comes from the east. It comes from Iran. For months, Israeli spies have expressed this fear that any intelligence they share with the U.S. could end up, via Russia, in the hands of the Iranians. And now, those fears have been confirmed. If they no longer trust the CIA, that means that the plot that might have otherwise been stopped or disrupted potentially happens, because they don't trust that if they tell it to us, it won't go to an enemy of theirs. And it's not just Israel. Now, other allies may become wary of sharing intelligence with the U.S. Without trust, these intelligence-sharing relationships break down. And without these relationships, it's harder for U.S. intelligence officials to do the very thing Trump says he wants to accomplish, defeat ISIS and disrupt terror plots. <laughs>